what's up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the driveway and let's welcome in my new service truck it's a 2023 international mv so let's go ahead and give it the old tour real quick all right so first things first what's under this old hood well we gotta take a look all right so power in this beast what we got here we got a six seven cummins isb engine with rear mounted air compressor as well as rear mounted cp3 all right while we have it all kind of exposed up front here as you can tell still your traditional drum brake setup no discs on this guy leaf sprung front and rear um the other kind of cool thing about it unlike most international trucks i actually have a stack so it gives me all those nice cold start sounds and the cab is kind of nice they've upgraded it they actually have lighting now for the steps which is really nice air seat which is always fun dash is pretty much what you'd expect uh they've updated it since the older uh models the internationals which i kind of like that got a really nice backup camera in here pretty spacious for a day cab um your basic climate controls single den bluetooth got that ratchet shifter allison um pretty much truck was set up like a over the road truck um i've got trailer trailer air as well as my brake controller okay also to add i also have these switches inside the dash here which basically can control all my external lighting my beacon lighting um, my pto speed all that can be controlled right through here um, and also you can control it in the back panel which i'll show you here shortly all right so we're going to break the body panel by panel box by box and we'll show you guys what the ins and outs are of this truck so we've got a 3000 watt power inverter with an external plugs throughout the truck and also we've got a nice power strip in here as well they're basically 20 amp um, circuit protected plugs on the outside and again you can pretty much run battery chargers and what have you and i actually did try to run my buzz box through it without it tripping the breaker not that many times as you can tell here the shelving units are really nice and you have plenty of space for sockets ratchets all that fun stuff and then my favorite drawer of all you guys have followed me for long enough you know electrical is my thing so i've got one really nice messy drawer full of electrical stuff i'm still organizing this truck i've only had it for roughly about a week so right now it is kind of just thrown together because i got shits to do but for the most part, as you guys can tell, all my impact guns are right up top here. And right through here is, like I said, all my battery chargers, my jump box, and just your kind of miscellaneous stuff here and there, specialty tooling, just all sorts of fun stuff. Um, I might do another complete truck tour of tooling here shortly. All right, so these Curry bodies, they, um, they kind of come with these nice little slide out racks where I keep all my miscellaneous stuff. You know, just fuses and all sorts of stuff, bolts, hardware, anything you're gonna need. Um, still filling this up as I go here, but again, for the most part, just your 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 quick hitters, the stuff you're gonna need from a day-to-day -day basis. This area back here, I keep all my Deutz and my AM seal, terminal ends, crimping tool, EP connector. Um, this right here is my other uh, Kool-Aid or Tool-Aid um, crimping kit right here. Um, I keep all my service stuff that I've done, my Amsho books, so on and so forth. Battery char or battery tester. Um, again, still setting this up, so I mean, for the most part, it is workable, but still, I got some time I need to put in. But while I'm on this side, I just want to go ahead and show you guys the lighting. So you've got one spotlight right there. And come on to the back here. You've got one spotlight right there. Spotlight right there. So you got two in the rear. And... You guys can see we got another one right there because i'm lazy and fat they give you this nice little step right here to get you right up to the top and what we got back here we got some cribbing blocks oil storage and obviously miscellaneous coolant drivetrain oil 1540 trash can and well i don't really like this idea but it does kind of make it a little bit easier i've got my torches right up here torch bottles and then I also I install quick connects here. We're in right in my job box. Got oil pans 
And then I also have my hoses that have the quick connect ends right there. So that kind of makes it convenient to hook everything up real now, fast. Now they give you this ladder rack that I'm not really fully impressed about, but it does work. But if you've got a little four foot step ladder, you got the area right here and a hook right there at the end. Um, I've got my umbrellas here. No, um, no Lydman cloud, but this one right here, this old black stallion, it works out. You got a nice little mount right here, a little four post mount. Makes it pretty easy to put up wherever you want to. Also, while I'm back here, let's go ahead and talk about the crane. So we've got a 12,000 pound, 21 foot crane. Um, it's got also a badass feature. It's got lighting built into it. So if you're like me, you work early sometimes and it's nice to have your lighting. I mean, when you're working somewhere, hell, even if you're working, let's say you're pulling the mat out and the, the floor pan out on a D6 or a dozer and you want to be able to kind of take the crane, wheel it in there real quick and you got some lighting as well as where you're working. So I think it's a pretty cool, convenient little feature. And just like my maintainer, you still have your outriggers all hydraulically driven there. Um, you know, nothing really to say special there. Um, right in here, you've got what you'd expect. You put your you know, your longer sledgehammers and you know, your longer pry bars, stuff like that in there. Nothing really out of the norm, for say, there. In here is where we have all your air controls and a, your additional PTO controls, your lamps, all your accessories. Everything can be run right here or, like I said earlier, inside the cab. I keep extra airline and my bottle jacks and just kind of your... I guess you could say your heavier stuff. I kind of keep it right in here. H-bar, all that stuff's right in here. Feature though, they do give you a level built into here. So I believe this right here is a pretty cool little thing. Um, with the maintainer body, you just kind of had a bubble level back where you would normally have your, your outrigger controls and your auxiliary controls. All right, so another, I guess, cool thing that Curry does and for less, more or less for safety is you have your wheel chocks built into the body so you can easily grab them, throw them right here, and you're good to rock. Um, this cabinet right here, we've got your blue cap kit. You've got your, your caps and plugs. I've got all my O-ring kits. Um, I've got adapters for my gauges, JIC gauge kit all my AC stuff that I really don't have a whole lot of. So, you know, just kind of the miscellaneous odds and ends, more gauges, and as you can say, oil and def sample testers, kits, just stuff that, um, in a day-to-day -day basis, you're gonna need trying to make it as easy and convenient as I can to work around this truck. Okay, so hitting the home stretch here, so what we got? All right, so right in here is your miscellaneous cabinet. So your brake clean, and your odds and end fluids, hydraulic adaptive ad ad additives, pig mats, just kind of odds and end stuff right here, just to make it easier for me to kind of access them real quick, use them, put them back in the truck. All right, so the last cabinet here, which is, um, I, I would say kind of the most open cabinet, but I believe for me is one of the more important cabinets. So I've got a lot of my safety stuff up here, chemical gloves, um, first aid kit, you know, your cut proof gloves and what have you. Um, as well as that backpack I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, I keep some of my chains hung up here, the stuff that I normally would use. Um, my slings that are my go-tos, I keep them in here as well. Um, I had to install that chain rack. Uh, and then we got my torch reel, which is probably the, one of the most badass features of the truck, I believe, which is I have a reel for my torches and a reel for my air. Um, again, like I told you guys, I can run my little buzz box off of the inverter, but it's not really recommended. And again, quick disconnects on my torches, which again, makes it so much easier to deal with. Now, I had mentioned the air. Now it's built into the cab here or into the body. I'm sorry. And again, it goes right back into that side cabinet right here, which again, I think again, you can't beat that. It's a really cool little setup. You got your reel right there. If you guys want a complete video touring of all the tooling of my truck, leave it in the comments section below. Um, if we get enough interest, then we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put the video together where we just kind of do a complete tool tour, everything that's on the truck from, you know, from every bin, everything. But for the most part, some of my previous videos, I have gone into detail of what's in each kind of drawer, what have you. I do add on from time to time, but... I'm kind of running off here and rambling, so do what you guys always do. Like, share, subscribe, P-pump the world. I'll see you guys in the next video.